Wait is over. INIC make announcement on Edo election final results. Sends an urgent message to APC and PDP. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for tuning in and listening to this headline that we got to hear this morning. As our headline for this morning says here that the wait is over. INIC makes announcement on Edo election final results. Sends urgent message to APC and PDP. Well, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has, of, has officially announced the coalition of results for the Edo State Governorship election, which took place on Saturday, will commence at 10 a.m. today. This update comes after hours of growing concern among political stakeholders and citizens regarding the, the delay in the announcement of the election results. The INEC head office in Bini, the capital of Edo State, has been disintegrated as a central coalition point for the governorship election, which has drawn significant attention due to the competitive nature of the conquest between the major political parties in the state. The delay in the release of the election result has created tension across the state. Supporters of the major political parties, particularly the All Progressive Congress APC and the People Democratic Party PDP, has been eagerly awaiting updates. The prolonged silence led to growing concern about the transparency and credibility of the electoral process. Well, in response, INEC released a statement assuring the public that the coalition um, process would begin promptly. Dr. Agobun Ogosha, the resident electoral commission rec in Edo State, emphasized that the that INEC remains committed to conducting the election in a free, fair, and transparent manner. He urged all political stakeholders and observers to maintain calm as the results are being proceed, processed. This is to inform the general public, political stakeholders and observers that the coalition of results for the ongoing Edo State Governorship election will resume today, being Sunday, 22nd September 2024, at 10 a.m. The statement reads, Well, we know how further reassured the public that INEC is dedicated to ensuring a, a, a credible outcome. The coalition process is being conducted transparently in an accordance with the extant laws and guidance of the Independent National Electoral Commission. We appreciate the patience and cooperation of the parties as we strive to ensure a credible and accurate outcome of the important election. Earlier in that day, Edo, Edo Governor Gordon Obasaki made an unexpected visit to the INEC office in Bini, adding to the already tense atmosphere surrounding the delayed results. The governor, accompanied by security details, the, the, the details met Dr. Onoha and other INEC officials in a closed door meeting that lasted over an hour. Governor Basaki's visit did not go unnoticed by the, op by the opposition party. Supporters of the APC who had been gathered around the INEC office expressed concern about the governor's presence, concerning the priority of his meeting with electoral office officials. While the election process was still ongoing, the like the APC supporters led by one of their party officials held a brief protest calling for transparency and fairness in the coalition process. They refused, to defuse the situation, INEC allowed the leader of the protest to join the meeting between Obasaki and the REC. Despite, the governor's, despite this, the governor left the premises without speaking to the media. Journalists who had gathered outside the INEC office were prevented were prevented from interviewing him as his, as the security team shielded him from questioning. The timing of, of Abasaki's visit has raised questions, particularly from the APC, whose candidate, Senator Mondi Okweholo, is one of the main contenders in the race. However, INEC has assured all parties that the process will remain impartial. In line with its commitment to transparency, INEC has been uploading election results from various polling units across the state on its online results viewing portal as the latest update. 4,439 out of 4,519 results has been uploaded to the portal, represented over 96% of the total results. According to the pre preliminary results on the IREV portal, Senator Mundi Okoyolo of the APC the leading in, is leading in Edo North Centuria District, while the PDP candidates um, is ahead in the Edo South Senatorial District. This early trend suggests a tight race between the two between the two major political parties, setting the stage for potentially dramatic coalition once all results are tailed. And that is all we have for you concerning this headline today this morning, which says that the wait is over. 
INEC make an announcement on the Edo election final results, sends urgent message to APC and PDP. Well, you're ready for me this morning. And if you're not a subscriber, the best you can actually do right here and right now is to tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, leave a like on this video to get more updates concerning this in the next future to come. Well, it's all about the Edo State Governorship election. Like, like when I was saying, say, the atmosphere in that Edo place, especially in BD, is not small. Like, everywhere just shook. Election fear just to catch everybody. Yes. Because nobody wants, like, nobody wants a, a, a condition where they'll be cheated and you start blaming the governor that they have big election, a big election. Even when Obasaki came and had a close up meeting with any official, APC protesters were protesting say that they don't want him there. That what are you guys discussing about? This and that, this and that, this and that. Yes, and the Anik has to do the best thing to let him go before tensions will arise now. Yes, this, they even said that um, the, the APC is winning in, Ed, in Edo North while the PDP is leading in Edo South. As I said, the, the governorship election in Edo State is not, it's not small. It is as hot as it is. It is as hot. As it is with the two parties, the two, the two of them don't want to agree for anybody. Yes, the two of them don't want to agree for anybody. Although the next as, 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 as the election as the results are coming in, they are, they are uploading it in the portal for everybody to see. They want a very free and fair election, a very free and fair election as possible. That is that, that is all the people want, and the people and the people are also looking at it closed door because they don't they don't want any mago mago or anything. But the results have not been said, but the results will soon come out successfully. Yeah, the other state results will, will still come out successfully. But this is to inform the general public and stakeholders and observers that the coalition of results of the ongoing Edo state governorship election will resume like today. And it's like that, that was the statement that the INEC brought out this morning that the, the election results will resume today. And earlier in the day, this Edo state governor Basaki he made an unexpected visit. And that visit, like I said earlier, it's it caused a lot of tension. Nobody wants to pray for anybody concerning election rigging. You know. Everybody wants a clear, a fair election. Yes, nobody wants what happened in 2023 to come and happen in 2024. Yes. What do you guys think concerning all this election beef that is happening around, all this election tension in those states? Yes. What do you guys think? Drop a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Then tap the subscribe button as a big button with the notification bell. So that in time I have a new video, you'll be the first to get notified about it. Once again, thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful day ahead of you.